G'day guys, how are you going? Quite an interesting one today. This is a little retro caravan and it's owned by an 82 year old woman. Her name's Judy. Um, had the privilege of meeting her. Um, she's she's amazing. Like she's um, This is in the first caravan she's had. She's had a Conroy one as well. And, and after her husband passed away, she took um, she took that caravan around Australia by herself. It took about eight months. So yeah, amazing. Amazing the stuff she's done. Anyway, so she's doing up this little um, retro caravan, uh, doing all the cushions and everything herself and stuff. Um, she's called it Little Millie, which is super cute. All we're doing is putting a little hot plate inside because she said she's getting too old to go outside and put the little gas ring burner out there, which is fair enough. Okay, so we're putting a little hot plate inside and then uh, putting a new gas bottle out the front because at the moment the gas bottle holder is out the back, which is in the impact zone, so you can't really put it there. So we're just going to put it on the front drawbar. But we'll go inside and I'll show you um, where the hot plate's going and the little setup inside there. Okay, so this is the uh, inside of the caravan. Uh, it's done a beautiful job here. Okay, it's got a little, little kitchen, you know, little, little water. Little, this is where the, the new hot plate's gonna be and a little sitting area. Apparently these doors are from Ikea. They used to have glass in them. She's popped those out and put this rat rattan in there. So she's done a yeah, beautiful job. It's got a little um, yeah, 12 volt sort of Dometic fridge here. And this is where the, um, the little hot plate is, um, is going to go, just here somewhere. So I've got a cut that in the bench there um, one thing that you I don't know if you're aware of if you do ever have a if you ever, do ever put a hot plate above a fridge see all these all these um yeah so it's got quite a few fittings and stuff like that in their gas fittings and stuff and so what they want they want a vapor a vapor barrier in between that means that no gas joints or any 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 vapor can go through into the fridge compartment so that's got to be a, like a full-on sealed vapor barrier so obviously isn't one of those so we've got to install that and then then we can put the the gas hot plate in and um and hook it up to gas on, on the front um of the drawbar there so anyway i'll show you as we go along and how, how it's finished but yeah, it's a lovely little van looking forward to working on it g'day guys i'm pleased to say that little millie is now cooking with gas i'll give you the rundown on the build now you can see i've just chucked this little 4.5 kg bottle on the front i've chucked a couple of braces in now I didn't want to weld these on because it's got like a hundred layers of paint on there. So I've just uh, used automotive sealant and teched it in there. I mean, even if you take those techs out, there's good luck getting that, that off now. Um, I really like these Oztrail um, bottle holders, right? They've got a really good, it, it goes all the way under and then up the back here and there's a you know, good bracket on there. So they're really rock solid. So I really like using those ones. Um, they're, they're great. Uh, you can see on this side, put another, another stand up here, which uh, holds up you know, the, the gas regulator nice and solid at, at the correct height. Now, she only wanted one um, gas bottle, okay? But in the f I, I just made it over that side, so in the future, if she ever changes her mind, she can easily just install another one over there. Now, the main reason that she um, wanted the gas bottles installed is that she was getting a ring burner out to heat her, have a cup of tea or to heat up a meal or anything like that. And it was, yeah, especially if it's windy or it's, the, the rain's not that great. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's not that fun. That's why she wanted it um, inside. Um, I also said, what about a, a bayonet for a barbecue or something so you don't have to take the bottle out? She said, that's a great idea. So it's a lot easier for us gas fitters to fit it at the same time than to try retrofit it after the gas main is installed. Okay, so there's a little gas main under here or the little bayonet, I should say, cheeky. Um, all right, I'll just take you inside now and show you the hot plate, how it all worked out. So there's a hot plate. So it's come up, come up really nice in the bench top. Now it was very, uh, it was, it was quite difficult to fit because there was no template. So if you do buy a hot plate, try and get the template with it because it makes it a lot easier. Um, otherwise, we've got to, you know, measure like four times and cut once um, because you don't want to stuff it up. Because if you do, then there's a hole in the bench and something. And you can see the angle of it. I've got to follow these radiuses around, and then then the radius kicks out here and goes up to the back, and then kicks back down here and goes around this radius. That's where the the, the clamps are because. There's hinges here too, right? So they they've got to be they've got to fit in the cupboard. So anyway, quite difficult to do, but I didn't stuff it up, which was good. Um, I'll show you it lighting up if you want. Just turn around, press that button in. So there you go. She lights up beautiful. Now you got to have permanent vents on a caravan if you're going to cook inside. Um, now little Millie's got permanent vents. I just had to trim a, a, a bit of flashing that was stuck later on. So this is all fine. It's got ventilation the whole way around here so they are permanently open so she can cook with even this hatch down it's good to leave it open but 
Anyway, inside the cupboard here too, you can see there's an isolation valve to shut the gas off in case of emergency or anything like that. Okay, and there's also, this is just a little test nipple and that's to, uh, it's a new regulation that's come in for hot plates, you need to have that. Now, one thing that most people don't know is that if you have a hot plate and it's installed over the top of a um, fridge, refrigerator, it's very important that you have a vapor barrier installed because underneath the hot plate, there's a whole bunch of, you know, you can imagine the fittings and piping and everything like that. Now, over the years, if it gets rattled around and it starts to leak or something, what they don't want is the LPG, being heavier than air, drift down and going to the top of the fridge, the electrical components, and then igniting, okay? So there needs to be a vapor barrier installed. Now, they're quite hard to retrofit afterwards because there's, you know, all the different angles and stuff. But this one worked out pretty good. You can see that I've just used some plywood and then sealed it down with some um, proper sealant the, the, the whole way around. And so it's come up really good. And the most important thing now is now it's compliant. There's no way of, you know, if it does ever leak in the future, which I don't think it will, um, that there'll be, you know, any explosion or anything like that. So that, that's the main sort of thing to make sure it's up to code and very safe and compliant. So it's all, all good and we're done. It's been a it's been a fun little job to do. So if you're thinking about um, doing some gas on a caravan or making taking some pain points out, I've got a whole page on my website at beautifulplumbing.com.au. Check it out some of the stuff that we do. And if you see little Millie out on the road, give her a toot. And if you get the chance to have a look at it and look inside, she's done a beautiful job. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you later.